to see him. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You know, we're living in a critical time. It's hard to kind of get a uh, scripture to preach because so much going on, and you want to try and tie in with that. Mm. God checked me on that. Mm. You preach what I tell you. Mm. Amen. Amen. No matter what's going on around you. Yes. He is my sheep. Yes. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Pastor, we want to go back. Y'all don't mind me just tapping this again. It's all right. <laughs> Amen. Because so much is happening all around us. Mm. I've been getting up at night and can't hardly sleep because, and, and I got up the other night, I didn't have no idea what was going on. But when I got up, I turned the TV on, and thus, that's what I want you to pray for. I didn't realize things was happening all around us. Mm. Coronic virus. Now we got looting and shooting, and we got burning cities and going on, and so much going on all around us. When coronic virus hit America, I said, this is not the end. I said, this is just a, a, a dressing room. How, how do I phrase that? Dressing room. Why did you say dressing room? No, I told my family. I oh. wasn't in that. You weren't involved. I told my family we was having Bible study at, at, the, at, the house, at home because we weren't allowed to come to church. We was having Bible study. Yeah. And when this hit America, I said, this is just a Rehearsal. Amen. I don't know somebody remember. This is just a rehearsal. <laughs> when it hit, Amen. people dying by the thousands. All around, in all the cities, everywhere you go, people are dying. And now all this is happening. People are forgetting about their masks. You look on television, and people that weren't thinking about their masks. Thank you, Lord. They spread it no matter what. Amen. We need mercy in this in this America. Jesus. Why? It's happening. It's happening because America has left God. Jesus. It's sad to say. It's just a few people hanging on. Mm -hmm. It could be millions of people hanging on, but that's just a few. Mm -hmm. But they have left yes. the foundation that's whom right. they trust. Right. Before we put anybody in the White House, we need to pray and ask God right, mm. guidance. But we put people in there because they promise, oh yes, they're good. We going to put, because of somebody else says so, did we do that? Go ahead. True. I know when I was working and on the job and when we in my comp my company was union mm -hmm. and before we let anything or vote on any kind of contract, we had to hear what was going to be said. Mm -hmm. And then first of all, years before we got to the place where we w went by secret vote, we had to go by Shaw's hand. Uh huh. Amen. And somebody said, now listen, that's wrong. And we went two, three more years like that, show yep. man. Yep, that's right. And the next door person, and we had hundreds of people, there weren't no five or six people, we had five, six hundred people on the, on the bargaining committee. Mm -hmm. And they all sitting around and then my hand go up, they look at me, he voted, I'm gonna vote on it too. Mm -hmm. That's the wrong thing to do. Do it because somebody else did. Mm -hmm. You need to get to understanding yourself yes. what, what it's going to benefit you. Yes. And don't put people in the White House because I said they'll be good. Uh huh. Amen. My wife said, said Donald Trump got in there because we done left the foundation and God wants to bring these people back in America to repent. Mm. 
Yes, and sir. then these things turn. But we ain't repented yet. We still, I'm talking about as a whole, mm -hmm. going on and dragging all tough luck and everything along because somebody else is doing it down the street. Uh -huh. We're going along with it. Amen. Virus come around and buy hit. Nobody even thought about getting on national TV and said, hey, we need to change our way. That's what's happening. <laughs> Ain't nobody did that. Right. Why? Because they don't want to stop. Mm -hmm. I'm going to keep on doing it because it's good. Mm -hmm. I like the way I like it. it. I like right. the way what, what's going on. I like it. That's this. it. That's it. And they keep on doing it. And the thing is growing. And God allowed this to happen now. Mm -hmm. Now they wonder how come police is doing well. We put people in the White House. And they allow things to go on. They don't screen the people right. what they put in there. They put <laughs> people in there and they do just what they want to because right. they got a thought. Yes. That's right. Mm -hmm. Help me, Holy Ghost, because I don't want to get in my flesh. God, I thank you. And they do what they want to do. And the president left a couple of nights. Y'all pray for Brother Brian. Dad, pray for him. I was watching this stuff go on, and somebody called him, and he said, oh, that's just a bunch of thugs. That's right. That's what he said. Oh, Jesus. That's what he said. Uh, what kind of, I said, you see, he ain't got no president material. Uh-huh. He ain't even got the gumption and the heart enough to say, we need to come to the table and find out what. How come the people are doing it? Yes. People are hurting. That's the only way they can express it. That's right. Amen. That's They're right. hurting, and the only way they can express it is burn something down. That's right, man. <laughs> Instead of him coming and trying to get involved in the situation and find out what can we do? He says a word like that mm. and that started somewhere else. Oh. Soon as his mouth closed up, it started in That's another right. city. That's right. If this is what we're going to have, we'll fix that. Mm -hmm. it is, I don't know how many cities now it's in, mm -hmm. but it should not be in any city. That's right, Dad. Lord, help us. Jesus. The Bible says, he that dwells in the secret place mm -hmm. of the most high shall. We get in the word of God. We that know the word of God, we need to get in the word of God. Study it out and find out what we can get that God will protect us. Hallelujah. Because this stuff is going to go on. And I don't believe it's going to let up. That's right. No reason. And we need to be in the safety zone. Yes. I want to get in the safety zone where it won't hit my house. God, I thank you. Hallelujah. We not to have no fear. That's right. Because if we have perfect love, mm -hmm. it'll cast out that cast fear. Out. So we don't have no fear. Uh -huh. Like I told a lady at the Walmart, I don't have no fear. She bumped into me. Bump up against me and, and, and almost seemed like I had a heart attack. I said, uh, had to almost restrain her to get her settled down. See, you don't have to wear I don't have the coronavirus, and if you got it, I don't want it. Uh -huh. You don't have to get all upset I, because you bumped into me. I know they said they want you to stay six feet apart, mm -hmm. but that was an accident. Yes. Amen. I didn't run into her. She got up from looking into something and biked into me and mm -hmm. almost had a heart attack. Oh, I saw the people is in so much fear. Yes. Yeah. Yes. A guy asked me and said, man, what do you think about I said, man, I got so much peace, I don't know what to do with myself. <laughs> I don't know what to do with myself. No, that's I'm right. Yeah. I'm running by. Yeah. I said, if they tell me and put it on the sign on the door, wear a mask at the Walmart, 
I put on a mask because yes. I need this stuff. Uh -huh. They got in there. That's right. <laughs> if I can do without going in there, I won't go in there. Uh -huh. But right now, I have to go in there because mm -hmm. I like to eat. <laughs> you do too. <laughs> Amen. So we have to follow the rules uh -huh. to get their supplies. Uh -huh. uh, if I don't want no food in there, I don't want nothing in Walmart, I don't have to wear a mask. That is that they put it that you have to have one. Uh -huh. But as long as they don't have to sign up and say I don't have to have one, I don't wear one. Right. Why? I'm not afraid. That's right. Thank you, Lord. I'm in him. Yes. Right. Amen? Amen? He said he'll protect me. Right. Mm. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And, and it went on down to, I'm looking at the fourth verse, it said, He. I'm in the 91st Psalm. Mm -hmm. Amen. Praise the Lord. We've been in this Psalm for several weeks. Yeah. I preached it, Pastor preached it, I'm back on it again. <laughs> Amen. Because it's something that you got on the ticket. That's right, brother. We Amen. Right back in it, didn't we? If you get in this Psalm, it cast that fear out of you. Mm. Uh, you can put your protect your 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 focus and protection on serving God no matter what goes on around. We got all this looting and shooting and burning and all this around us, killing going on. But we in him, we don't have to fret. Yes. And some of said fret not because of those evil doers. Mm. Jesus. Huh? Didn't he tell us to do that? He did, yeah. We don't have to get upset because things are happening all around us. The poor brace says, He shall cover thee with his wings. His wing. Uh huh. His feathers. Now I love my place. <laughs> he shall cover thee with his wings. Yes. His feathers. Mm -hmm. Yes. My Bible said his wings. Oh, I say wings too, but it is some of them. Well, I don't know what, what mine said, his wings. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so, come on, read that for me. Mine's he shall cover thee with his feathers. Uh-huh. And under his wings shall thou trust. Uh-huh. His truth shall be thy shield and buckle. He shall cover me <coughs> with his feathers or his wings. I don't have to worry about as long as I listen now, as long as I trust that we can get in the church and we can run all around and pass the seat and play some good music and he play good music and amen and he if a horse was to come up to that door, he'd go to prancing. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. Why? Because of the music. No truck, but that the music is going on. It makes things happen. Yeah. 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 Music drives away evil spirits. Mm. Yeah. 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 Music does something for people. When I was a little boy in the farm, on the farm in the country, people would get out there and sing some old blues. They could work all day long without eating. <laughs> Because of what they were saying. Uh -huh. Amen. Amen. Music does something. It's important to have music mm -hmm. in the church. Mm -hmm. I believe it was David had to had in the play to get the drive the evil spirits away. The music. Yes. Hallelujah. But if we ain't trusting God. We need to be trusting God yes. more. With all this stuff happening all around us, we need to put our uttermost trust in God. Amen. Not the president. Mm -hmm. Not the government. Mm -hmm. Nobody else but God. Mm -hmm. Put your trust in him because he can see Father and he knows the end. Brother Evan Clay, Evan out in Chicago, we preached the message said, God knows where the end is going to be. We can stand up on, that's when we were living up there in Chicago, the Prudential Building was the 
tallest building in Chicago at that time. They may have something taller than that now. But he said, we can go up on the top of that building, potential building, the name of it, and look all over Chicago mm -hmm. and see the parade when they get out of sight. We're talking about parade, when, like Thanksgiving parade to come and go and you see the end of them. But God knows way wow. over there where they end up. Well, we can't see. The eye can't see. But he knows what's going to happen there. That's why we need to put our trust in him. Yes. Instead of man. I believe the wise man Solomon said, put not your confidence in man. Because he's a fail. Man can fail, but God is never failing God. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, y'all don't mind me going the way the Lord let me. All right. I mean, the Lord want me. Amen. And I'm going to allow him to use me. I planted a whole lot of seed here the last time I was up here. Amen. Hallelujah. Go ahead. I planted a lot of seed. Today I want to plant some more. Well, thank you. Let's go. You know the why the thing is going like it is. We got all this stuff that's happening because man walked away from God and man doing this, man doing that, and man allowing this to happen, man. A married man, married woman, married woman. Preachers even doing it for them. Mm -hmm. Now we supposed to be standing there telling them they shouldn't be doing it, but we standing there marrying them. We indulging them saying you can do it. Jesus. It's all right. Because you got a child too. <laughs> Praise the Lord. You want to hear children? Mm. My God, we need to we need to put a guideline to these things what's going on in, in America. Yeah. I say this often, I say it often that it, it, not only here at Revival Center House of Prayer, everywhere I go. I said, God wants people that that whatever we standing for be there. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Don't be something over here and something different over there. My mama used to tell me when she was alive, when we was in the country, said people that's like a lizard. They go down the path one color and they come back a different color. <laughs> that's the way people's spirits are. Mm -hmm. We are one thing today and tomorrow you look at us. I'm coming out as a hope. Yes. I'm hoping and praying that nobody here revive us in a house of prayer like that. I'm praying. I'm not only for this church. I'm praying hard for the whole entire America yeah. to get back to God. Oh, yeah. Like Mother was preaching on the radio for years. Yeah. The Back to God program. Because yeah. people had left and they're yeah. still getting further and further away from God. Still yeah. coming closer and closer. they getting further and further away from God. Amen. Mm. They done quit preaching old time holiness. Mm. Oh. Let's go back to holiness today. Amen. Ephesians 4 and 21, 24. Let's go back to holiness. Let's see what Paul was talking to the church about. God, hallelujah. They don't want to preach that. They, ah, that's a clothes line. It needs to be a clothes line in the church. Because <laughs> well, the church is beginning to look too much like the world. Amen. Mm. Not only look like the world, they act like yeah, the world, even go. smell like the world. <laughs> and it needs to be a difference between clean and unclean. Yes. Yeah. Amen. Hey, Pete, did I say four? Yeah, yeah 421. Yeah, I want to, let me find mine in my Bible. You feed in the fourth chapter. Amen. What did I speak in? Four, 21. Yes. Read for me. If so be that 
ye have heard him mm -hmm. and have been taught by him uh -huh. as the truth is in Jesus. Uh -huh. That ye put all concerning the form of conversation. Now wait a minute. Let's let's get this straight right here, right now. Paul is talking to folk that's supposed to know God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Them people outside of here ain't been to nobody's church, ain't been saved, ain't been born again, don't, don't know God. Mm -hmm. Amen. But we know him. We've been taught his word. Yes. Know what he stands for. Right. This is what he's saying. Now, if you've been, come on, read for me. That you put, put all concerning the form of conversation. Everything that we used to talk about in the world, and, and when, let me lie, I need to elaborate just a little bit. When I was in the world, I was a jokester. <laughs> On my job, I was a jokester, and I wanted to be the best one. Come on, I wanted people to come hear me, because I was a jokester. That was my thing. In the world, say, that's my thing. <laughs> and I'm going to do my thing. You know? I'm going to draw, draw some people to hear me. Because uh -huh. this is what I do. But right. Paul is saying here, now if I don't heard this word, I'm going to put off the former thing. Well, I'm pulling off the former things. When I pull off the former things, the people come, hey, Brian. Some call me Brian, some call me Slim. Amen. Hey, Slim, tell me one good one. I said, Jesus, love you. Hallelujah. <laughs> yes, sir. What you mean? I said, Jesus, love you, man. Yes. Thank you, Lord. I mean one of them up. I said, Jesus, don't want me to tell you one of them because I've been cleaned up. <laughs> I don't belong in the world no more. I ain't going to act like the world. I ain't gonna smell like the world tomorrow, like you All right. smelling them. I can get halfway close to you, and you can smell. Give me a cigarette. Uh huh. There you go. Go ahead and tell Let's me. stop by the club. Uh huh. <laughs> you hen pet. I ain't got no feathers. <laughs> you can even call me what you want to. I ain't got no feathers on me, dude. Uh. Hallelujah. I ain't of the world no more. Yes. I'm act different. Yes. Huh? Yes. We got to be different. Why? Because we stand for a different purpose. Right. We ain't acting like the devil want us to act. Amen. The devil want and then looking to just take on this here. What's going on right now? Some of those people up there ain't even thinking about that joy form. Don't even know him. Didn't even, they ain't never heard about it, but they heard somebody burning or I want to get in on that. Uh -huh. They ain't out there for the right purpose. Just out there, uh, out there protesting in the right sense of manner. No, they got, they going to burn up something, tear down something. Somebody done scuffle for 20 years, 40 years to get, and then somebody come along and tear it down. Mm. That make you angry. They ain't in there for the right purpose. But we that have been born again should have the right spirit. Amen. This is what we're trying to get to you this morning. Because there's some of those people that are marching in, the, in somebody's church. Mm -hmm. Testifying this morning on top of the mountain. Hmm? Talking about... Yeah, and, and yes, Jesus loved them. Yes, Jesus cared for them. Yes, Jesus did it. But Jesus wants you to do something too. Mm -hmm. We always put what Jesus did, Jesus done. But what is we doing? Come on. All right. That's right. He wants us to demonstrate Him. Now. Then we get out there and act all messed up because we know this thing is going on. It's been going on. Before I've been was in this world. That's right. It's gonna go on until Jesus come back. That's right. It's gonna take Jesus to fix it. Amen. But he ain't gonna fix it as long as we act the fool. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. What did we stop at? Twenty-two. 
that you put off concerning the former conversation. Pull it off. Old man. Pull it off. Which is corrupt. It corrupt. According to the deceitful lust. Uh huh. Right. And be renewed in the spirit of your mind. Be renewed. I got a new mind. Yes. When I got born again, I got a new mind. We were living up on 27th and North Cheyenne. I come down that hill oh, and hit Mohawk, come on Cincinnati, going to work every morning. I had to come down Cincinnati, hit the Broken Iron Expressway and go to work. I used to pat myself. <laughs> you good, you good. You, got you good today. Good. Hallelujah. Hmm. But that Wednesday night, I got filled with the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. I come down that hill, cross Mohawk. The star service station was set up on the pasture in Cincinnati on the right hand side. Uh -huh. I come down, cross Mohawk, passed on by the star service station. Got almost to Pine, and then I realized that I didn't need to do that no more. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I didn't need to worry about running out today. Yes. Because God had filled that in my life. Yeah. I didn't have to go blow smoke no more in uh -huh. nobody's face. Glory to God. Why? Because I done put off that form of man and his deed and renew my mind. Mm. Put my mind on Jesus. We used to sing that song in the Church of God in Christ a lot. I came all the way with my mind stayed on Jesus. Came all the way with my mind stayed on Jesus. I'm all the way with my mind stayed on Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 And this is the part I used to like so much. My mother-in-law used to say, I'm walking and talking with my mind. Stay on Jesus. Walking and talking with my mind. Yes. This is what renewing your mind will do. Walking and talking with the mind. Yes. Stay on Jesus. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Remember, Sister Person, she used to sit at the piano and say, It ain't no harm to keep your mind. Stayed on Jesus. Yeah. It ain't no harm to keep your mind. That's when your mind Stayed was renewed. On Jesus. Focusing on Jesus and not the world. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Paul said, Renew your mind. Yes. You can't renew it in Jack Daniel. All right. You can't renew it in Campbell cigarettes. Uh huh. You got to renew it in the Word of God. Hallelujah. Let God fill the empty space in your life. That's right. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Did we finish that? Hallelujah. We we talking about holiness. I I want to leave talk with you. Paul said, holiness, my Bible said, true holiness, because there is a false holiness out there in the world. There's a lot of people out there false pretending. Mm. They clap their hands and know they ain't for real thanking and praising God. They're just doing it because the audience is doing it. They're doing it because the song leader said, clap your hand, they're doing it. It ought not to be have to tell you to praise God when you can hear a Zion song Amen. and you know what he done done for you. Mm. It ought not to be nobody have to prompt and prime you to say, thank you, Jesus. Amen. You ought to be doing it on your own. Yes. Because you have a renewed mind. Hallelujah. You don't think like you used to. Yes. Glory to God. Come on, read for me. Maybe. Jesus. 
and <clears throat> and that ye put on the new man. Yes. Which after God is created in righteousness mm -hmm. and true holiness. And true holiness. Did you hear what the writer in the Bible said? So if true holiness in your Bible, it must be a false holiness somewhere. Mm. It must be somebody out there doing things that's pretending under the name of holiness. Mm. They're pretending that they're saved and sanctified. We used to get up and testify at the Church of God in Christ that they have a testimony service. Amen. And they get up and say, I'm saved and sanctified, baptized and filled with the Holy Ghost and with the body. Amen. Woo, glow. That used to kind of, I used to wear them natural hell when I had hair. Ooh, like that. <laughs> that. That would rise up. I can hear people saying that. My little like my hair would kind of Stand up straight or something. I could feel a difference when people were testifying. And I wasn't saved and sanctified. Uh -huh. But I was at the church. Yes. Hallelujah. At the time it was going on. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. Because my mother in law used to get me to stay every time. Every once in a while I'd take her and my children. All right. And she'd talk me into staying. All right. And I'd stay there that Sunday morning. And when they get up and go to testify, ooh, I wish they'd shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying, I wish they'd hurt. Because they were doing something to me. Mm. They didn't realize that God was drawing me. Thank you. Hallelujah. I kept hearing that. My God. I'm saved and sanctified. Thank you. Hallelujah. Oh, and you know what? When I got in the church, I got all the way in the church. Oh, there you go. I'm coming out of it. I didn't went in there and I stayed in there all the way mm -hmm. and got filled with the Holy Ghost. And when I stood up to testify, mm -hmm. I couldn't do it because the Holy Spirit was just all over me. Because I know what they were talking about now. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The devil fought with he punched me even this morning he fought with me. Hallelujah. You see what's going on in the church in the world. You see what's going on all around. You know the people ain't going to be like and I had to fight hard. I heard people say Sunday morning is the worst of morning that the devil will get on to you. And he got on to me. I had to go in, a, in a, one side of the house and just sit down and say, God, help me. You see the spirit is fighting me and it fought me this morning. Hard. They never had it to fight me that hard before. But I had to persevere. Paul said, Press on. Yeah. Press by. Talk to Jesus. Talk to him about it. Yes. And he said, go on, I'll make the way easier for you. Hallelujah. If you bring your burdens to me, yes. I had to take them to him. Mm. Thank you. Glory to God. When we got a problem, saints of God, when we got a problem, okay. we take it to Jesus. Take our problems to Jesus. Yeah. Especially you that know him. Take your problems to him. Yeah. He can fix any problem. Oh, yeah. He made everything. So my prayer is if he made everything, yeah. he can fix anything. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. He know how to fix it. Yeah. When and how to, what to use to fix it. Yeah. Yeah. Thank holiness, true holiness, clean. We got to rare about what we're talking about here this morning. Thank you. Somebody think that's just a name in the Bible. Mm. But holiness represents something. Mm -hmm. They taught it years ago, even when you went. So we didn't have no place to run. 
when they preach it over here, if you go down the street, they was preaching it down there. Right. But they quit doing that. Oh, thank you. They quit preaching that clothesline religion, they said. That's a clothesline. You're trying to preach clothes. No, if you get the right thing in you, you pull off the wrong clothes. Amen. Huh? Amen. When I got the right thing in me, I pull off the wrong clothes. Yes. I had on the wrong clothes. Uh-huh. Representing Jesus. Uh-huh. When I got the right thing on me, my white hat went away, my high heels went away, uh-huh. my shiny suit went away. Because uh-huh. I got the right thing in me now. Yeah. People, if you, if you ain't got the right thing in you, I don't care how much clothes I really <laughs> preach to you, you ain't coming out of that. Mm. Until you get the right thing in you. Come on. Thank you, Lord. I think she hit on that this morning. Mm-hmm. Talking about clean from the inside. Yeah. Right. When you get clean from the inside, yeah. you're going to work on the outside yourself. Mm. Yes, sir. Yeah. Glory to God. Nobody had to come along and tell my wife that you need to get rid of all them suits you got. You know, I had had a trunk loads of stuff to give in the way to my sister-in-law and people that want. Why? Because she got to be with the Holy Ghost. She come out a whole lot of stuff she didn't rep, couldn't represent Jesus in. Mm. We were supposed to be representing Jesus. Yeah. And we need to be looking like Jesus. Yeah. We need to be smelling like Jesus. Man, come talking to me one day. I was thinking going to the nursing home. Hey, man, and he he know a little bit of Bible. And he's just talking, trying to witness to me. I said, I'm going in here to preach. Oh, and he's smelling like a, a whiskey steer. And he's trying to witness to me. All up in my face, talking about how good God is. How much God look. I'm I've been here I've been here to see my brother and, and you know God is so good and, and I couldn't understand it. <laughs> now he's trying to witness, got all that knowledge and ability about what God is, but he ain't got enough gumption and enough sense and know how to quit doing these things. When we represent him, we don't need to be smelling like the world. Yes. Huh? Amen. I'm not, that's a seed I'm planting here today. When we represent him, Amen. please don't smell like the world. Yes. Because what? Paul said, come out from amongst the women, which the world people, and then don't do what? Touch not the unclean thing. Didn't he say that? Mm-hmm. Said then he told us one place to put a difference between clean and unclean. Mm-hmm. Then he went on and said, holy and unholy. Mm. So it's a distinguished there what we got to realize that we got to draw the line here. Said, wait a minute. Let me see. That's why they got mirrors. Look in the mirror before we leave home. Ladies, men, look in the mirror. We represent Jesus, don't we? Yes. Well, I'm talking about holiness, and we got to act like it. We got to live like it. We got to dress like it. Mm. Can't preach talking about it and don't do it. Mm. We got to look like holy people. Huh? Yes. Because we represent a holy God. Amen. He said, be ye holy, for I am holy. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, we, if, if we ain't holy, we can't be acting like him. The devil got preachers out there pretending, acting, and going on, making saying, they can do this, everything. I can remember years ago when I was in the world, used to be a blues song, and don't say I'm rich, just keep a remembering it. Mm-hmm. But it was a song that the the platters had 
you're a great pretender. Mm. And it's a lot of great pretenders in the church. Mm. It's sad, but it is true. Yeah. A lot of great pretenders in the church. Act like it, talk like it, act like it, speaking in tongues. Holy dancing, running around, foaming at the mouth. But if you ain't got the true holiness, sit down. Amen. I form a pastor. Amen. Let me take my time. Take your time, sir. Form a pastor, Edward Roberts. When I first remember Edward Roberts before he died, when I first got in the church. And I was wanting to get saved. And he had a altar call. He said, now listen, I want all you so said, Holy Ghost feel folk here today. Don't run down here rubbing and laying your hand all up on these people and you know you ain't got nothing. And you especially some of you been in a fight with some of them what's down here. <laughs> And want to come down here and rub all those spirits up on those people. They ain't going to never get nothing like that. And uh, I, 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 years on after he passed, I realized what he meant. Evil spirits. Just got through cussing somebody out. Then you, mm, mama, maybe, yeah, I believe it. I'm going to watch. We need to watch that. We're talking about true, true holiness. Somebody's for real. Amen. Years ago, you oh, could God. spot a, a saved person, a Holy Ghost fear, we used to call them sanctified folk down the road. Amen. Not just because they wore the long dresses. Yeah, there you go. Not just because they was walking and talking about Jesus along the path. Not just because of that. You could feel the difference between when you were around people that were true Holy Ghost folk. Me and my brother, the devil don't want me to talk, play marvels. We've been in the country, around behind the house. Draw a little marble ring. Put all the marbles in there. Playing for keeps. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> and somebody looked down the pass and said, Here comes Brother Joe and Sister Jane. We jump up, dust ourselves up, clean up. Because we didn't want them to stop and go to talking about Jesus to us. Because mm. those folks that had something that was demonstrated on the outside, we could feel something and we get up and represent, we get up and, and respect to those people. How you doing, Mr. Joe? How you doing, Miss Jane? We respected those people because they carried themselves in a respectable way. Anymore is no respect in the church. Anymore outside, people don't respect the preachers. Preachers don't respect the people. Jesus. No wonder, even it was a blues song, Aretha Franklin put out, respect yourself. If you respect yourself, you can get some respect. All right. We stand for something. We are not far for anything. That's right. Amen. Holiness is right today. It ought to be right at your house tomorrow. Yes. It ought to be right on your job tomorrow. Yes. Not just because you came to church today. It ought to be a different on your job. People ought to see a different in you. Oh, Sister So-and-so, she must have something. I wonder what church. They used to ask me, what church you go to? I said, I go to 
friendly church of God in Christ. What do you mean, the friendly church of God? I said, friendly church of God in Christ, Christ in God, and he in me. And I need to be demonstrating. He said, oh, I know the reason you act so different, yet strange, you know, joking, just. I said, I don't do that no more because it's biblical. I'm not supposed right. to do that. How can I re represent Jesus and I'm out here doing what you're doing? You represent who you represent. You represent the devil. That's his job to do that. And I'm not on his side no more. So I don't need to laugh at your joke. Mm -hmm. <laughs> huh? Amen. Some of the saints are so sad. Now, we still talking about hope. True holiness. True holiness. We ain't come out there just a just a regular title of Holy Ghost or holiness. A lot of folk call themselves holy. We ain't talking about biblical, true holiness. Amen. A lot of folks that go around and and, and just to hear some funny jokes and, mm. and, and tell some funny jokes. They even get up in the in, in the book of sacred place and tell the joke. This ain't no place to be up here trying to tell you no joke. Yes, right. that's right. I'm not up here to plant no dirty seeds. I'm up here to plant good seeds. Come on, that's right. Huh? Yes. Now, I'm planting good seed, not dirty seed. <laughs> Paul, we just got through talking about that. We done come out from among them. We renewed our mind. Right. We done renewed our mind. Why well, go back out in the world again and feel the again? Why go back out there when you don't have to? Mm -hmm. When you got help. See, it, 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 it'd be sad if we didn't have no help to go back out there and keep falling down, keep walling, and then getting back up and coming. But we got help yeah. when we get ready to fall. Jesus! 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 Get up in the nighttime. Don't be ashamed to walk around in your house. Holler, Jesus! Yeah. You need help! Yes! Yeah. You need help! Hallelujah. I used to call my mama and my daddy went home all the time. And, I need help. What you need was something fit to break in this house. I was a little bit boy. I thought she could kill a bear or lamb. I didn't think she was afraid of anything. As long as I was with my mom walking behind her, holding on her dress tail, I didn't think that nothing could whoop her or move her. I just follow along there, just, no matter what it was. I just follow along behind my mom. And I was in bed, I called on her. Don't mess with mama. What is it? I said, something's been to break in this house. <laughs> oh, I'm going back to sleep. Ain't nothing going to bother you. Amen. That's all the consolation I needed. Because she said, mm. what nothing's going to bother me. Mm. Jesus had already told us. Woo, hallelujah. Whenever you need me, I'll be with you. I'll come to your rescue. I'll be with you even until the end. I don't care what come up on this America. Uh, all around us, we got Jesus. Yes. We don't have to fear. Thank you. Lord. I just don't know. A lot of people look at me foolish and, and, and think I'm in the carnal mind when I tell them about I don't have no fear of I'm not afraid of coronavirus. virus. They look at me and, and they want to call me a name, but I didn't go on. Uh -huh. I said, listen, you can get in him. And you don't have to worry about things going all around you. Yes. I said, the devil brings fear. God don't bring no fear. He told us to fear not, my That's right. That's his word. Fear not. And it's one for every day of the year. In the week, if you just read your Bible, yes. it's enough fears printed in there. You can use one every day. Yeah. It's enough fear. And all the time, fear not. They're not telling you, you better fear because this is going to happen. You better fear because America is going to get attacked with this virus. You better fear. You better run. No. They looked at me the other day at Wilma. 
And I said, I mean, so I've got so much peace, I don't know what to do with myself. They look at me. <laughs> I guess they said, that crazy man is crazy. Yeah. <laughs> I said, but you got to get in him. Yeah. You know, you can't just do Get in Jack Daniel in the dead and try to get him a bar and think all that. Going, no, no, no. Put the hell down. Lucky strap, camels, throw them away. Yes. We well, ain't nothing wrong with that. I said, well, why do they print on the package? Have it to your help if there's nothing wrong with it. Well, there you go. Huh? Somebody get that. If there ain't nothing wrong with it, they don't want to put it. It's all right. Smoke them in. Then it, 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 smoke them in until you die. There ain't nothing going to hurt you. Just smoke them until you die. Smoke them. You go over and they go. Huh? When God clean you up, when he clean you on the inside, when he do a work on you, you can't get this overnight. Mother used to preach all day long, and then she'll turn around and say, listen, you didn't get this way overnight, so it's going to take longer for That's me to get right. it. That's right. get rid of it over two or three hours. You've uh -huh. been in it all this time. Yes. All my preaching ain't going to do it one day. All right. A lot of folks pick up a lot of junk. It took years, and then they wanted to get it done. One minute. Uh -huh. First round, do it in one night. Yes. Well, he can do it. Hallelujah. He can do yes, it. He can. Hallelujah. Yes, Let's get some more word here. We're yes. going to plant some seeds. Why do put it away the line? Put away the line, please. So much line going on. And and remember, I just told you now, he's talking to Christ, folk that both of us are Christians. Mm. No God. I'm born again. They use that as a Bible. Oh, I'm born again. Baptized, speaking of the tongue. With somebody's wife, a girl, a daughter, or somebody, I'm talking about preachers, right then. Praise God. Huh? Mm. It's, it's a preacher in this city. And, and, I, and, and I ain't going to call the name. Why come to me? Quit calling the name. Get rid of the truck. <laughs> <laughs> you get in trouble. Call me that. But I don't like to even get in his company. Hmm. And he's a preacher. Know the word. But it's so carnal minded. So carnal minded. Otherwise, it looks like everything has to come out of his mouth as jesting and joking. Yeah. Even go as far as talking about somebody. I don't like to be around people like that. Because if you're around a lot of stuff like that, after a while, you're going to be picking up bad habits. Mm. The influence or whatever is going to rub off on you. Do you know, let me tell you this, while I'm on this. <laughs> that spirits can get in clothes. Yeah. Did you know that? Oh, yeah. Did you know that? You can let people wear your clothes. Mm -hmm. And spirits can lie in there and tack onto you. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. I had to be learning that years ago. And I found out it was true. So you need to watch. Come off the TV. TV spirit, you said that one. After one, you need to acting like that. Mm -hmm. Doing like that. So it's, uh, I, 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 I plead with you. Watch what your children are watching on television. Because mm -hmm. spirits gets in there. Mm -hmm. Let's go to another scripture. Gonna we'll read. We're still talking about holiness. Hallelujah. We're going. Well, what? How many more you got? Go ahead. So, wherefore, put in their way, lying. Lying. 
speak every man truth. Speak the truth. With his neighbor. For we are members one of another. Mm -hmm. That be ye angry, sin not. Don't let, sin. Let not the sun go down upon your wrath. Mm -hmm. Neither give place to the devil. Yeah. Let him that stole steal no more. Don't do that no more. But rather let him labor, working yeah. Yeah. with his hands the things which is good. Mm -hmm. That he may have to give to him yeah. that need. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Don't let the sun. And it okay. also says, let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth. Yes, yes. Okay. But that which is good to the use of edifying. Edifying. That it may minister grace mm -hmm. unto the hearer. Yeah. To the hearer. Yeah. And what, that's why I don't like to be around this individual. I just got to talk about because he don't minister grace. Uh -huh. he, don't, he don't minister good seed. I don't want to hear what he's talking about. Yes. That's right. We that's been born again supposed to be ministering. Great. What you just got to say to the hearers. Yes. Right. Why you want to do it to the so they can so the hearers can grow or come in. Hallelujah. So the hearers can come up. Yes. So the hearers can Entry. get what you yes. got or whatever you're trying to demonstrate. Thank you. Amen. Yes. Roma. Hallelujah. Oh, what you getting wrong with this life here? This, this, and they act like this in a long time. Mm. Roma six. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. The devil hates the light. Yes, he is. Six. Chapter Roma. Nineteen verse. Praise the Lord. Thank Hallelujah. I speak after the manner of men. Uh-huh. Because of the infirmity of the flesh. Yes. For as ye have yielded your members servants. Yes. Of uncleanliness mm -hmm. and to iniquity. Mm -hmm. Unto iniquity. Now wait a minute. Let's, let's slow down here a little bit. Now, we're talking to Christian folk now. Mm. Now, don't you, we in the church today, we're demonstrating Jesus today. We don't need to go outside of this church and do and yield our members to all this junk that's going on in the world, all this blues and all this liquor that they're glutting down. We don't you need to yield and dug with all that kind of mess. Yes. Don't yield your members. I don't need to get out there and, and, and sing with them. I'm trying to get them to sing with me. That's yeah, right. right. I ain't coming down to leave their level. They need to come up to mine. Yes. Coming down off the wall. Amen. Huh? Amen. I ain't going to yield my members to them. I come out from amongst that stuff. Right. So I ain't going back into that stuff. Keep away. Use my memory, let the devil use me, Come get on. inside of me, and have me acting just like they acting. My memory, <laughs> my tongue, using my mouth, okay. saying what they want to hear, like the men coming along. Hey, tell me one good one. I said, Jesus loves me. Amen. I said, a good one. I said, that is a good one. <laughs> you didn't hear what I said, I said, Jesus loves you. That's a good one. Yes. Better than the one I used to tell. May not be funny, but we don't need to be laughing at everything. That's right. That we hear. That's right. Some things we need to pray when we hear. We don't need to laugh at everything we hear. People get out there and go to talking and we go to laughing. You need to start praying under your breath. Lord, help them in the vision. They don't know what they're doing. They rely on the devil to use them. Come on, read for me. I speak after the manner of men because of the infirmity of your flesh. Uh huh. But as ye have yielded your members, servants to uncleanness and to iniquity, unto iniquity. Mm -hmm. Even so now, mm -hmm. yield your members, servants to righteousness 
unto holiness. Yes. For when ye were the servant of sin, mm -hmm. ye were free from righteousness. Yes. What fruit had ye then in those things whereof ye are now ashamed? Mm -hmm. For the end of those things is death. Mm -hmm. yeah. But now, being made free from sin, yeah. and become servant to God, yeah. you have your fruit unto holiness and the end everlasting. Yes. For the wages of sin is death, yes. but the gift of God is eternal life mm -hmm. through Christ Jesus, yes. our Lord. Your fruits, clean, <laughs> set apart, quality that pleases God, spiritually pure, free from condemnation or corruption. Spiritual man. We are free from that stuff, so don't go back out there and use our members to all that junk going on in the world. We're talking about holiness, so these are the fruits of holiness. Come on. Thank you, Lord. Righteousness. We go about doing right. We tell the truth, not a lie. Yes. When even when it's gonna hurt us, we tell the truth anyhow. Amen. Amen. I was going to Haskell a few months ago. I was in before they put the preachers out of the nursing home. Before they, you know, they didn't want nobody to come in there and visit them. I'm speed. I'm late. I'm speed. Police jumped off the hill. Yeah, they do. Put a light on me. I didn't run on. I pulled over to the side. Where you going? So big a hurry. Boss, I said, I'm going to the nursing home. Down in Haskell, man, and I'm running late. He said, what you gonna do down there? And then I explained what I gonna do. He said, go on, boss, man. Uh, he patted me on the go on, boss, man. You're doing your good work. Feet a little slow on that side. <laughs> 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 I said, I show sure will. I know I broke the law. Yeah. But I tried to run and argue with him when he stopped me. Uh -huh. The light come on, I pulled over and stopped. I'm gonna get a ticket now. Uh huh. But God, see, I told the truth. Uh huh. Um, sometimes I'm thinking the truth will hurt, but God stood up on my behalf and the police let me go. Uh huh. Tell the truth. Even though it looks like it's gonna hurt you. When you owe the government two or three hundred dollars, tell the truth. Mm. Pay the two or three hundred dollars that you owe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A lot of people down the line mm -hmm. on the income tax. Mm -hmm. See, this is what hit the church world. Yeah. Cause a lot of people in the church won't pay the taxes. And then when they get the the order to <coughs> tell lies and try to figure out how to beat the government. Mm -hmm. No. Throw that pencil and paper down yeah. and pay that stuff if you owe it. If you want to be on God's side, do right and he'll Fix it so you won't have to lie. Amen. You don't have to lie next time it come around. God fix things in your situation that you won't have to lie on your income tax. If you stand up and say, I'm going to be for real. Amen. I'm going to live holy. Right down here and not wait till I die and get over young. See, this is a thing. We got to do it right here. Yes. Great Peter. Plant some seeds. One. First Peter one. Praise God. Amen. Come on down on my own my way up there. To my father's house. Alright. To my father's house. To my father's house. I'm on my way up there. To my father's house. Rest First Peter 1, 14, 16. Yeah. That's good. Glory. As obedient children. Obedient. Not, not fashioning yourselves according to the form of love Woo. in your ignorance. My, 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 my. But as he which has called you in holy. Yeah. We still so be ye holy. We still talk my In all manner of 
conversation. We still talking about food, man. Yeah. Yeah. And we still talking about the same thing here. Yeah. Yeah. Cause, uh, li listen, we started out with Psalm 91. He that dwell in the secret place of what? The most high. The most high. He shall, God promise us, yeah. we will. That's right. Now we got to do something. That's right. Mm. That's now we're trying to give you the seed to how to do something. Come on, brother. If you live holy, you will. You'll do right. You know how to have to equip you and make you. Because holiness is down in you. Mm. Make you want to. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> Hallelujah. I heard somebody say, I ain't going to vote for such and such a person because they ain't going to do it. I said, but you get the privilege in office. You all have to pray for them and to get in there. Mm. How come I, I said, because you're a child of God, you say you've been born again. Yeah. I said, you need to represent him, pray for them because he told us to. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's right. Amen. Now, you ain't going to do one of the commands in there. You better fix you another heaven to go. <laughs> huh? That's just truth, isn't it? Uh -huh. If he says something for you to do, and you ain't, you're going to, I ain't going to do it. Mother used to put your heels in the ground and turn around and kind of get you some uh, 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 spot that ain't going to give away. Mm -hmm. I'm going to like Bible tells us to be rooted and grounded and see and demonstrate that I'm rooted. Come on. I'm grounded. Right. And you ain't gonna move me. Yes. Nothing. <laughs> the people you say shall move. There you go. Huh? But we need to abide in the word. When the word said do it, we need to help me, Jesus, to do it. Do it. Yes. You said do it, help me to do it. Amen. Come on, read for me. Did you read First Peter two? You said four. Fourteen through sixteen. Yeah, I read that. Oh, you read that? Yeah. Read it again for me. As obedient children. Obedient children. Not fashioning yourselves according to the form of love. Now hold it right there. <laughs> obedient children. First of all, if we obedience. You're going to listen to the word. You're going to try to do the word. Yeah. Why? Because you're obedient, children. Mm. You ain't going to make your own path that you go. You're going to make your own route. I'm going this way. I know the Bible says, uh, but uh -uh. no, you're going to follow Jesus. If we're going to get to his heaven, we got to follow him to get there. Amen. Now, we first of all got to be obedient. And then what? Obedient, then as obedient children, not fashioning yourselves according to the form of love mm. in your ignorance. Not going back or fashioning yourself to not allow the devil to use you anymore. Not hooking up with the junk out there in the world because they sound good. They said doing something. They said that you can prosper this way. You can do it. No. A lot of folks in the church are thinking they can prosper in a casino over here on 36th Street. Well, it's the truth. I'm talking about church folk, sanctified folk. Supposed to be baptized and filled with the Holy Ghost, sitting up in a put in a slot machine handle. Talking about they saved and sanctified. Yeah. Trying to get the big one. <laughs> Hallelujah. Now we 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 talking about not just a, a pretense. We talking about the Bible said true. Didn't he say true holiness today? True holiness. Otherwise you're not like 
what folk is saying and they demonstrate one thing and live in another. Tomorrow you ought to see us the same way you see us today. Huh? Might not have on the same clothes, but you ought to have the same attitude, the same spirit down in you tomorrow. And should not, don't worry about it. The preacher comes to you, knock on your door, and you ought to be the same. And when the preacher knock on, there's a next door neighbor knock on there. You ought to be the same to the next door neighbor you was to the preacher. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? People change up like my mother said, like listen. Different color. I'm different. I'm different this now. Because I know you and, and then I don't know that I get on with my dough. <laughs> this is the spirit of some of the folk in the church is God saying they are filled with the Holy Ghost. Yeah. yeah. But if they got the true holiness, yeah. they won't act like that. My God. Let's go here another scripture. We plant some seed. First Corinthians. Uh, plant them seed, Dad. All right. <laughs> plant them, brother. Go ahead. I'm going to plant them because I'm on assignment today. Sixth chapter, 16 to the 19th verse. I'm on assignment. Obey God. Amen. Sixteenth verse. What? Know ye not that he which is joined to an harlot is one body? Uh-huh. For two said he shall be one flesh. Let's go down and hold up there now. Now we come out Holy Ghost, folks. Holy people say they said they saved and baptized and filled with the Holy Ghost. Only way to heaven. Don't hook up again. Go back out there in the world. Pick up your old sweetheart. Or go back out there and deal it down with the same old stuff that somebody had to pray hard to get you delivered from. And go back out there and do that again. We've been born again. Now we know this is something we've been taught. The word of God has been taught. Paul has been teaching. Now you don't have to do that stuff no more. Don't go back out there and do that again. It was going on then. It's still happening. That spirit ain't died yet. People are coming here. You lay your hand on them and pray hard. Lose sleep praying over somebody at night yeah. for them to get right with God and lose your sleep and then next week they're doing worse than all that prayer you got delivered them from and they back out in the same old mess. We're talking about being for real. Yeah. True. No flaws in true holiness. You put a whole lot of different Laws and different kind of stuff, but it ain't gonna come out pure, pure unless it is the truth. The truth is the only thing gonna stand. Amen. Now, if people get up on national TV and tell the people in the world, the leaders of the world of America, the truth of what's going on in America right now, and get them to turn. And then, then they got influence on the people. Yeah, and when they get influence, they turn, then the people will turn. That's the truth. From their wicked way. And then God will uh, heal our land. Sure, God, I don't know. I'm going to to keep the stuff away from your house. You pray hard to keep it away from your house. Pray hard to keep it away from your church. But we want more than our congregation. We want more than our poor no more. Yeah. We want more. God wants us to pray for the people. Yeah. To get them to see and realize. Yeah. But you get up and talk about something like that. <laughs> even in a Walmart. Mm -hmm. They don't want to put you outside. Because they don't want to hear the truth in that. <laughs> see the devil is a plot. He's running things just about everywhere. 
But God's still in control of right there. And he's still hanging. Letting us hang around here. Because a few is calling on him. Amen. A few for real. And calling on God. But how many big, and, I, and I'm a preacher, how many of us is on national TV crying out to the world? A lot of people that got name titles, kids in the airway could get it for free. Oh yeah. But they ain't saying a word. Why? And that's like dogs that came up. That's in your word. Amen. That's right. I ain't gonna say nothing. Mm -hmm. Why don't you want to say? Because they ain't give me no more money. That's I right. can't pay my car. No. I can't pay for this big old building if I keep talking like that. Y'all mm -hmm. heard mother, your mother, and your mother, when she was alive, said, people tell her, I can't preach like you do because they won't give me no more money. Uh -huh. That's the truth. Can't preach like that. But we got to preach like that in the house. Yes. If you don't give me no more money or no money at all, we got to preach like that. Hallelujah. We got to tell the truth. Yes. Amen. You don't do nothing for the Come preach. On. They need to tell the truth. Amen. 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 Read some more. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We were then. But he that is joined unto the Lord is one spirit. One spirit. Flee fornication. Free. Every sin that a man doeth is without the body. Mm -hmm. But he that commit, committed fornication sinned against his own body. Yes. What? Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, mm -hmm. which is in you? Which you have of God, yes. ye are not your own, mm -hmm. but you are bought with a price. With a price. Therefore, glorify God in your body yes. and in your spirit, which is God. I mean, which are God. Yes. Amen. So we don't have to worry about ourselves because we don't belong to ourselves. We've been bought with a price. Amen. So. Amen. We glorify God in our body. Yes. yes. Amen. It belongs to him yes. in the first place. Yeah, Lord. Amen. We don't yield our members to the devil no more. Amen. We denounce him now. He don't come up in by no devil. Get back and go on down the road. Don't don't stand that and argue with him. Amen. Right. The, well, nah, devil. And go on down. Don't sit there. No, you just uh -uh. Tell it. Sometimes you got to be focused. That's right. Say and say and with with the voice of triumph. Amen. Ah, uh, no. Amen. Amen. Help. That means you mean what you say. Right. Thank you. Okay. Turn around. Be driving along by myself in the car. And, and driving along. Oh no. Amen. Devil be trying to come attack me. In my ear, tell, trying to tell me something. Uh uh. Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. Uh uh, devil. Not no more. No. Come I don't on, belong devil. to you. No more. No. I got to give the attributes of what holiness is. I got to be clean. I'm set apart. I don't belong to myself. Thank you. I'm set apart by the master, you, whatever he has me to do. I don't have no corrupt communication coming out of my mouth. The devil don't use my tongue like he used to. Oh, yeah. Tell a joke. Yeah, man, such and such. You get the line and people get to laughing. You get the line and people laughing, you know when to stop. Mm. <laughs> you don't want the crowd to leave. That's right. I'm going to tell them nothing to keep them around here. I used to do that on my job. I don't want to leave out of my area. Seems like I want everybody to stay in my area. And if the 
bell rang or whatever, I won't have to run to my station. I'm already here. <laughs> Honey. <laughs> Honey, see, I had to use my influence to keep them there. So when the bell rang, they got to run to their wow. station. I'm already here. All that kind of influence in it just to tell a lie. See, when you let the Lord use your memory, use them for Him. Yes. Use them for Him, you won't have to run and hide and jump and wiggle and shake. And you'll be right there. You'll be on time. If you got a clock correct, you won't have to run to that clock. You'll be there on time. Don't let me step on your toes. You that's working. <laughs> you all that's working. Praise the Lord. I used to have to work. Hallelujah. Years ago I'd run. 20 minutes late before I leave home. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Get to the clock running to the left. I'm already late. I need this. This prior right. Amen. I'm already late. I need to just go and settle down. Drive on right. No, that's when we living on 27 North Cheyenne. I used to drive that old Ford. You remember that old Ford I had? I go down the seat and <laughs> Already late. I'm already late. And thinking, I don't know what the devil, I just listen to him, just keep driving. Get on out there, man. I'm speeding and late already. <laughs> there already. 20 minutes late. It's going to take me 20 minutes to drive there. So that's going to be almost an hour. Uh, uh, uh. And run when I get out of my car. <laughs> I'm telling you how the devil uses people. <laughs> and he's using people like that in the church. Yes. <laughs> yes. Well, it's like I'm going to. Like I'm, what kind of influence I'm trying to pull him off on somebody. I'm already 20 minutes late, 20 minutes to drive, that's 40 minutes, and then get out in the parking lot and run to the guard house to punch the clock. And he gonna feel late when I get there. Anyway, he's sitting up there looking at me. Why am I running? Mm. I'm already <laughs> take my time, I'm already late. But when car come in, and save me true and put true holiness in me. Hallelujah. Glory. I didn't have to run no more. I'd be at my job 20 minutes before time to go to work, sitting there with a cup of coffee, drinking it. When the bell rang, I'm already sitting at my workstation, Ella Polly. When the bell rang, I'm sitting down waiting on it to ring. When it rang, all I had to do is stand up. All right. Change. That's when you get the truth holding this in you. Nobody has to tell me. He told me. I'm talking about the Spirit of God. If you allow Him, He'll tell you your dress code. He'll tell you to get away from foolishness. He'll tell you to smell like holy people. And if you listen to him, you'll be doing it. That's it. You're demonstrating the word. Because Paul had already told us when we get filled with all the Holy Ghost and all that, that we're going to leave that stuff back. Come on. We ain't going to drag and tug along with all that junk like a Kirk above picking up everything and get in contact with. Yeah. No. We don't put it down. That's right. Left. Don't have no attachment no more. Thank Walk you. by people that full of alcohol. You how you doing? Keep on going. You won't have to tell them, man, what is that I smell? <laughs> man, so they enticing you. Right. If you're the worldly person, if you ain't true holiness, no after a while, you're going to sneak around there and do what they do. Yes, I will. Thank you. I like 
I know you don't want to hear that. Hallelujah. But when we get the truth down there, the Bible said know the truth. And the truth will make you free. Hallelujah. You know the truth. You got the truth in your head. Everybody in here got a Bible got the truth. Uh-huh. Only way you're going to know it is read it. Yes. That's right. Uh, hear it. That's right. And listen. That's and right. let it make you free. That's right. Amen. That's right. Go ahead. Hallelujah. Amen. Well, glory to God. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm going to close. I'm not through, but I'm going to close. Hallelujah. Don't forget the thought here. True holiness will help us to abide under the shadows of the Almighty. Yes, Lord. It will help us to stay under his wings. Yes. Amen. Amen. It will help us. It will guide us. Mm -hmm. Protect us. Even he said he cover us with his feathers. Yes. Like a chicken. Jesus said in the words about the chicken covering her chicks. Yes with her feathers when danger come around if you stay with the word of God and whatever going all around you is around the flu a virus what is going around but don't have no fear mm. but don't be ignorant or nothing go around there and deal a dab in it That's right like a lot of people on television, they, they done pull off their masks. They didn't care about the corona flu anymore, a virus anymore. They want to get revenge. Hallelujah. Now, what if I'm going to wear a mask, then they're going to pull it off because I'm mad? And forget about it. So, you look on your TV there, they'll show some reruns. Hallelujah. How people will act. But see, we that in God believe Him. His word said He'll cover us with His feathers. Don't go out there to Walmart and go in the store like I did, and this lady bumped into me and she almost had a heart attack because she jumped up off. She gonna give me the virus, so I'm gonna give it to her and all that kind of stuff. I said, they don't worry about it. I don't, I ain't got it, so I, if you got it, I don't want it, so it's just like that. Amen. Hallelujah. But don't go out there. If they say stay six foot, abide by them. Uh -huh. Stay six foot, yeah. buy what you want, then you can get on out of their store. Yeah. Yeah. But you don't go in their store and tell them, I don't care what you sign and say, I'm going to get clothes, I'm going to walk up here, I'm going to do this. Uh, no, no. Abide by the rules. Amen. Do what they tell you in that store. Amen, brother. Stay your six feet. If it says six feet, stay six feet. Mm -hmm. If they even put it, say, it's mandatory to wear the mask, yeah, put it on. Yes. Yeah. And go in the store and get what you want. Yep. And then you can go on to your house, do what you want in your house. Amen. Or in your car. Come on. Amen. But don't go in there and try to tell them how to run their store. Mm -hmm. Or wherever you at. Don't try to go in there. I know Jesus, I ain't going to do it. No, no. <laughs> don't go in there speaking in all kinds of tongues. Talking about you know Jesus and I ain't going to stay. But I'm going to do what I know. He wants you to. If you if you if you represent him, yeah, like you did we just got through talking about yielding our tongue, our members to the devil. He, we don't yield our tongue to the devil and say, I ain't gonna get on six feet. I ain't gonna do this. I know Jesus. Amen. I ain't gonna do this. No, no. You not represent him like that. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Obey. If that is, if you need something in the store, do then what they say. Come on, brother. Get it and go on out. Speak Amen. the word. Hallelujah. Amen. Go in there and try to tell them. I used to I knew a man on the job. It's sad to say, but he spoke to being a Christian man. And he was always trying to tell the boss how to run things. 
and come to me one day. What you think? I said, listen, I'm not here to <laughs> tell them what to do. They tell me what to do. That's right. They paying me. I'm not paying them. That's right. Amen. And if it's wrong, I'll do it wrong. Uh-huh. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Yeah. I did it. Uh -huh. I did That's it. Good. I was a molar. Anybody in here know molding? Oh, you know about molding? Yeah. I was a squeezer molder. You know the squeezer molder, the the one that the single molder, not the but two, just one man. And I was working at Byron Jackson Pump, mm -hmm. and they brought, and I had, yeah, I had to go through that for four years before I get a journeyman car. Mm -hmm. And when I get a journeyman car. I could go anywhere in Oklahoma or anywhere. I had a car that, put, that I know what I was talking about. I know what they wanted done. I could do it. And they had to pay me the same top pay they paid anybody else. Uh -huh. That's right. But my supervisor, uh -oh. amen, <laughs> we got a new supervisor. Oh God. And sometimes when you get new people, they kind of hard to explain to them that they don't want to listen to you because they they got a dog. And he comes to me and says, Brian, make this pattern. Dad brought a new pattern. And I want you to do it like that. I said, man, it ain't going to work like this. I've been doing that for six years already. Six years now I'm experienced. And he that got in there and don't know nothing about it, ain't gonna tell me how to do it. Mm. And I said, listen, it ain't gonna work like that. Oh, do it like that. And he got hot on the car. I said, listen, I said, I'll do it like this. But it ain't gonna work, and don't come back to me and talk about how come it didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> Amen, I, I, I just told him like, is the world said how the cat ate the cat. <laughs> Amen. And I did it, and it didn't work. Mm -hmm. And he come, ah, uh -uh, no, don't tell me. <laughs> he, he, right. he thought I was what they call immoral, you know, insubordination, or whatever yeah. they use that for him. I said, no, I'm not either. <laughs> so he went and got his boss. Uh oh, it's old. Here come two bosses now. One <laughs> little, one bigger than him. Oh. <laughs> Mike said, do this. And you did. I said, listen, I told that man. I said, listen, I said, first of all, I've been doing this six years. Mm -hmm. I pulled out, I said, see this car? I said, it proved that I, and that's in, when they were doing that in Oklahoma, giving a journal car. And he looked at it, he said, yeah, that's, that's proof of it, but, but you need, I said, listen, I told him I'd do it like what, and I did it like what, did it come out right? No, it didn't. Well, you, I said, listen, I told him what to do to this pattern. And he don't want to do it. I'll continue to do it like whatever you said do. If you don't want to listen to me, I'll continue as long as y'all call me. I know that's I'll right. Yeah, that's if right. you don't ever come out uh -huh. right, as long as I get paid. As long as check right. Right. Do it. <laughs> that's right. I did that for one week. Yeah, Lord, have mercy. Every day. I was just making samples. Every day I make two. Every day. And each day they pour metal in and they come out of Rome. They kept coming out of Rome every day. And they finally got up enough sense to humble themselves. All right. That's it. They kept paying them. Uh -huh. They had to humble themselves, come down off of their high horses. Uh -huh. And ask me. First of all, they got a uh, a call from Los Angeles, which was the headquarters. How come y'all ain't got no result from that pattern we sent? And they kept him around and around. I'm like, well, we do, we doing this and we doing that. And, and their headquarters had called him, and I got the word that they owned him about it. I said, I'm glad they is on them. I hope they talk to me. Now I tell them. And you know how they humble themselves and come out one day and say, Hey, Brent, make it like you want to do it. <laughs> 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 I 
They all saying that. Go ahead and we're listening. Now make it like you want to do it. I just went on the lady just like it's supposed to be, and then the thing come out perfect, and they come back two weeks later. <laughs> they come back tomorrow. <laughs> they come back the next day, two weeks later, and brought the company that the pattern was for. You know, we made different parts for different companies, and the <coughs> company that the pattern was for, they brought the man along with him. Said, hey, I see that's the perfect job. How do you do? And he come and got some advice from me. Wow. Mm. Instead of the humming and they said and coming down thanking me, mm -hmm. yeah. two weeks later. Two mm. weeks. Two weeks. <laughs> but see, I could have went around there and said, hey, I ain't gonna do it. Fire me and go on down the road, get me no. I had enough sense. You keep on paying my That's right. I keep on making scrap. I know it's going to be scrap. I know you're going to throw it out the door tomorrow. Why? Because I know what I'm talking about. We got to know when the devil come along and tell you to do some things. You got to know where Jesus brought you from. You don't let the devil turn you around and do and use your members for what they want done or what he wants done. Hallelujah. We got to quit. Thank you. Lord. I ain't finished, but I'm going to have to quit. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The altar's open. Thank you, Jesus. Thou carry, Lord. Thou carry, Lord. Thou carry, Lord. For me, for me, oh, why should I fear when thou art near? Thou carry low for me. Let your light shine bright. Let your light shine bright. Let your light shine bright in the darkest night. Tell me why.
way 